hello friends welcome to free cat tutorial and in this tutorial we will do the part modeling tutorial number 98 and uh, you can see that uh, I have uh, already modeled this part and I will show you from the scratch how you can model it I will close this file and create a new file and show you from the scratch you can also visit my website macnexus.com where I write articles and tutorials on FreeCAD. You can download my tutorial source file from here, tutorial source file page. And you can also support me by buying a cup of coffee on coffee.com. Your uh, small support will help these channels to grow and it will motivate me to create more awesome content on FreeCAD. I thanks to all my supporter those who have uh, supported me by buying a cup of coffee so keep supporting and uh, it will help me to grow this channel and uh, it will motivate me to create more awesome and useful tutorials on FreeCAD so let's come back to our tutorial so here I have uh, created a new file and the first thing which I will do is to insert a body then on our origin plane. So if we uh, look at our model so we will create this uh, base profile and this base profile will uh, come on the right plane. So select the plane and uh, click on the sketch and of the origin plane and now we will use the polyline tool and we will create a, a rough L shape profile and join it and now select the horizontal dimension of uh, 106 and move this dimension to the down select this and provide the vertical dimension of uh, 34 select this and uh, provide the horizontal dimension of a uh, 12 mm select this and provide it dimension of uh, 34 now I will move the dimension so that you can clearly see it so our uh, sketch is fully constrained and we will come out of the sketch and uh, we will create uh, extrusion of uh, 82 mm so select the sketch click on extrude and uh, provide the distance 82 mm and uh, click here symmetric to the plane and click on ok now press 0 for isometric view and now we will uh, create this profile and extrude it to the same distance of uh, 82 so for this we will select this face and uh, click on the sketch and first thing which we will do is to project this edge so click on the project geometry select line tool and now we will uh, create a three point arc three point arc and uh, again we select a three point arc create arc and here we will uh, provide the tangency between these two arc say tangent and uh, we will close this profile and now we will uh, constrain it with our uh, dimensions we will select this point and arc and add the coincidence relation so first we will constrain this to arc so select the radius tool and this arc is of uh, R14 and uh, this one is of uh, 22 and select horizontal dimension this is of uh, 10 mm and now here we will select this and this and add the tangency now I uh, move the dimension so that uh, you can clearly see it so our uh, profile is uh, fully constrained now we will close it select the sketch click on extrude so you are not seeing anything on a screen so click on here reverse and 
select up to face and select this back side of a face and press 0 for isometry but here it seems to be like two separate solid so click on the pad and go to the refine and set it true so now this two extrusion got merged now here is a fillet of R12 so we will uh, zoom it and select this edge and click on the fillet and provide the value of uh, 12 mm and click on ok now we will uh, create this rib so for this we will on our origin plane as we have uh, did our extrusion symmetric to this mid plane so we will select this mid plane and uh, click on the sketch and now go to the model tab hide the plane and from here we will switch to the wireframe and click on the project geometry project uh, this three and now we will uh, draw exact line and arc to our projection one and now select the line tool create equal line again select the line tool join it now select the three point select this and this and made it equal now to complete the triangular profile by joining these two points we have a fully constrained sketch press v7 for a shaded view now select the sketch and click on extrude and here is of a 12 mm thickness so we will provide the 12 and never forget to make it symmetric to the plane and now click on ok now we will uh, perform the material removal operation so here is a cut so we will select this face and uh, click on the sketch click on project geometry and select this rectangle option and create a rectangle now select horizontal one this to this provide uh, 12 mm and here as well select this point and this point provide the 12 mm move it and project this edge select this point and this point and provide the vertical dimension of a 12 mm now it is a 12 mm 12 mm from the all the sides click on close select the sketch and go with extrude cut and from here say it through all say ok now we will uh, perform this cut here so for this we will select the face and click on the sketch and click on the circle tool and create a circle select uh, horizontal dimension select this point and this point and provide the value of a 10 mm select uh, diameter and this of uh, diameter 20 now we will close it click on extrude cut and say through all say ok now we will provide the fillet to the four corners of dia 12 here 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 and here so for this we will on the fillet tool select this edge this edge this edge and this edge and uh, provide uh, 12 mm press 0 and now we will uh, create 4 holes and uh, size is not given so we will consider it to the diameter 10 so we will select this face and click on the sketch so 
switch to the isometric and then front view and uh, to create the hole we will project these two edges so click on the project geometry now select a circle tool create a circle and uh, press control key and select these two and made it equal and now select uh, diameter and provide the diameter of uh, 10 mm now close it click on extrude say through wall so you can see that uh, we have a uh, successfully converted this uh, isometric drawing into the 3d models now one thing which remain is to provide the color so we will go to the appearances sections select the shape color and uh, click on ok close so this completes our tutorial and this tutorial is designed for the beginner user those who have uh, just started learning the part modeling and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if you have enjoyed it then please like subscribe and share my channel and also support me on coffee.com your small support will help these channels to grow and it will motivate me to create more awesome content on free care thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time